So welcome students to the topic of polynomial equations. Polynomials are a very important types of expressions that we encounter in our mathematical problems. So let us see what a polynomial is. So a polynomial is an expression of the form a n x power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus a 1 x plus a naught. So an expression of this form where n belongs to whole numbers and the coefficients a naught a1, a2, so on up to a n belong to some number system f is called a polynomial in the variable x is called a polynomial in the variable x or the number system f. So an expression of this form where this n belongs to whole numbers and a0, a1, a2 up to a n, the coefficients of different powers of x belongs to some number system is called a polynomial in the variable x over the number system f. So polynomials are usually denoted by f of x or g of x so on, where f is the name of the polynomial and the variable inside the bracket is the variable over which the polynomial is defined. If the polynomial is defined in the variable y, we write it as f of y or g of y or a of y, whatever you want to write. So this is the definition of a polynomial. The important thing that you need to observe is that the powers of x that are there in polynomial. The powers of x that are there in polynomial are always whole numbers. You cannot have fractional powers of x. Next, if, if the numbers a0, a1, a2, so on up to an belongs to the set of real numbers, so they can belong to any set f, any number set f and the polynomial is defined on that set f. So if these coefficients belong to real numbers, then the polynomial which we have is called a real polynomial. If all the numbers of all the coefficients of different powers of x are all real, then the polynomial is called a real polynomial. If all of them are, if all the coefficients belong to a set of complex numbers, then it is called a complex polynomial. So if a0, a1, a2, so on up to an belong to the set of complex numbers, then the polynomial is called a complex polynomial. So you can have these coefficients in any set. So whatever this set to which these coefficients belong, we say that this is a polynomial over that set. And the highest power of x present in the polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial. Degree of the polynomial is the highest power of x. highest power of x with a non-zero coefficient with a non-zero coefficient present in the polynomial. So that is called the degree of the polynomial. So let us take some examples. So if you take an example, 2x square plus 3x minus 5 is a polynomial in the variable x and the degree of this polynomial is 2. 
because x power 2 is the highest power of x present in this expression. So this is a polynomial in the variable x. So if you have 3y cube plus 2y plus 6, this is a polynomial of degree 3 and this is a polynomial defined in the variable y. So if you have an expression x plus 1 by x, this is not a polynomial because x power 1 is okay but 1 by x is x power minus 1. The powers of x are not all whole numbers. Hence, this is not a polynomial. So, to distinguish whether an expression is a polynomial or not, you need to observe the powers of x present in the expression. So, if all the powers of x are whole numbers, then it is a, poly it is a polynomial. If you have negative powers or fractional powers, it is not a polynomial. So, if all the coefficients of the polynomial are real, then it is called a real polynomial. If some of them are complex, then it is called a complex polynomial. So, the next term that you need to understand is the leading coefficient and the leading term. So, if you have a polynomial f of x is equal to a n x power n plus a n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus so on a 1 x plus a naught. So, we have already seen that this is a polynomial in variable x of degree n if a n not equal to 0. The degree of the polynomial is the highest power of x present in the polynomial whose coefficient is non-zero. So, if a n is non-zero, x power n will be the highest power of x present in this polynomial. Hence, a n not equal to zero implies that this is a polynomial of degree n. Now, what is the leading coefficient? So, in this expression, in this expression, a naught, a 1, a 2, so on, a n minus 1 and a n are called coefficients of the corresponding powers of x. For example, a naught is the coefficient of x power 0, a 1 is the coefficient of x power 1, a 2 is the coefficient of x power 2, a n minus 1 is the coefficient of x power n minus 1, a n is the coefficient of x power n. Now, the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the highest power of x. In this case, a n is called the leading coefficient. This a n which is the coefficient corresponding to the highest power of x is called the leading coefficient. And this whole a n with x power n is called the leading term. So, a n times x power n is called the leading term. So, I hope these two are clear. Leading coefficient is the coefficient corresponding to the highest power of x. And the coefficient along with the corresponding power of x is called the leading term. Now, based on the degree of the polynomial. So, different polynomials have different names. So, let us see the names of the polynomials. So, the degrees of polynomial can start from 0. So, if the degree is 0, the name of the polynomial is a 0 degree polynomial or a constant polynomial. That means, if it does not contain any power of x. So, if the polynomial is just a constant, for example, 5 is a polynomial. It does not have any terms consisting of x's. So, you can think of 5 as 5 times x power 0. So, it contains only 0 power of x. Hence, the degree of this constant polynomial is 0. 
So whenever you have a constant, it can be thought of as a constant polynomial of degree 0. Now if the degree is 1, it means the highest power of x present is 1. For example, 2x minus 5. This is a polynomial of degree 1 and is also called a linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. Because if you draw the graph of this polynomial, you get a straight line, you get a linear graph. Next, if the degree is 2, for example, if you have x square minus 2x plus 6, so this is a polynomial with degree 2. And this types of this type of polynomial are called quadratic polynomials. Quadratic polynomial. And if the degree is 3, for example, x cube, 3x cube minus 5x plus 8. So this is called a cubic polynomial. If the degree is 3, then the polynomial is called a cubic polynomial. If the degree is 4, 5x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 5x square minus 2x plus 7. So this is called a biquadratic polynomial. A polynomial of degree 4 is called a biquadratic polynomial. And the higher degrees of polynomials does not have any special name. So we just call it nth degree polynomial. That is, if a polynomial has a degree 5, we don't have a special name for it. We just call it a 5th degree polynomial, a 6th degree polynomial, a 7th degree polynomial, so on. Next, you have a very special polynomial, which is called a 0 polynomial. It's not a 0 degree polynomial. So you have something called a 0 polynomial. So, 0 polynomial is nothing but 0. A constant 0 is called a 0 polynomial. And for the constant 0, the degree is not defined. Degree is not defined. So, other than 0, if you have any other constant, then it becomes a constant polynomial whose degree is 0. But if you have the number 0, it is called a zero polynomial and the degree of the polynomial is not defined.